In this video, I will show you how to remove any type of video background. Initially, I have opened the clip in Adobe Premiere, but I will remove the background using Adobe After Effects. While it's easy to remove green or blue backgrounds using the Ultra key, however backgrounds with multiple colors cannot be removed with this tool. Let me demonstrate this by showing you the Ultra key in action. To find the Ultra key, go to the Effects section and search for it. Drag the Ultra key onto the video clip. Now, pick a key color, then onto the background, select a color. Please note that we can only select a single color from the background, not all of them. Let's choose white as an example. As you can see, the white color has been removed from the background. Let me undo that. Now, let's select a skin colored area. As you can observe, all the colors have been removed, including the man's face. Let me undo that once again. This demonstrates that the Ultra Key is not a suitable solution. Let's delete the Ultra Key from the Effects section. To remove this type of background, we need to use Adobe After Effects. Open Adobe After Effects and import the clip. Alternatively, you can right-click on the video clip in Adobe Premiere and select Replace with After Effects Composition to open After Effects directly. As you can see, Adobe After Effects is now open, prompting us to save the project. Let's save it first. The video appears in the After Effects Composition. Make the all the necessary adjustments here and remember to press Ctrl plus S to save the changes. The changes will be automatically applied to the video clip in Adobe Premiere Pro. To work on the layer, click on it to open it in a new tab. Then, select the Roto Brush tool and use it to select the areas of the object that you want to keep. Once you've made the selection, you might notice that some areas are still missing, such as the ears or some parts of a cap. You can manually select these missing areas as well. To view the layer in full screen, select the layer and press the back tick key. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom in on the object and hold the tab key to use the hand tool and move the object. To make selections of missing areas, use the Roto Brush tool. If the selection area expands beyond the object, you can remove it by holding the ALT key. This ensures that unnecessary areas are no longer selected, leaving only the object perfectly selected. Make selections for all the missing areas. Once done, press the back tick key again to zoom out. This is how you select the object. Once the object is selected, move the timeline cursor to the end of the timeline to process all the frames. You might notice a blue processing line indicating that it will take some time. Let's fit the layer in the canvas. After the processing is complete, go back to the start. By clicking on the composition layer, you can see the crop result. However, the crop might not look good initially. Adjust the areas manually frame by frame. Select the layer tab again and move the timeline cursor to the second frame to see how it looks. You might notice missing areas that need to be manually selected. Repeat this process for each frame throughout the video clip. Once all the corrections are made, select the composition to view the results. On the left side, under the effect controls, 
you'll find some options to smooth the edges of the object and remove any thin outlines of the removed background. After completing all the adjustments, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus S. The changes will be automatically applied to the video clip in Adobe Premiere. If you want to add a colored outline around the object, export the file in a transparent format and then open it again in Adobe After Effects. To export the file, go to the composition and click on Add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. Media Encoder will open, and after a while, the video clip will appear in the queue. In the Format Settings, select QuickTime. And under the preset, choose Alpha ProRes 4444 with Alpha. Click the Play button to start rendering the video clip. Once the rendering is complete, open the clip again in Adobe After Effects. In the Effects and Presets section, search for the Fill Effect. Drag the Fill Effect onto the layer. Then, find the simple choker effect and drag it onto the layer. Lastly, locate the CC composite effect and apply it to the layer. Under the fill effect, select the outline color. Adjust the choke mate to control the size of the outline. When you're satisfied with the outline size, add the video clip to Adobe Media Encoder again and export it with the same settings as before. Once the rendering is completed, open the clip in Adobe Premiere to see the results. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.